three. We'd like to ask, we'll ask you a little bit later. So guys, we're going to start a candidate leader with some beautiful, beautiful music in just a moment. So get ready to sing at home. And also if you can get ready to think about who would like to light um, candles at home with your parents, who would like to do the grape juice and who would like to do the challah. And we'll ask for volunteers in a little bit, but think about if you'd like to do something with um, candles, grape juice or challah as Cantor starts us with beautiful Shabbat music. And maybe that'll also give you a chance if you don't have them ready yet to, to get those things ready. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start with uh, one of our favorites. Uh, it's the Shabbat Shalom song, otherwise known as the Bim Bam song. And since I have my guitar in front of me, I'm gonna count on all of you to do the bims and bombs. Remember the bims and the bombs, right? With your hand gestures. So I'd like to see you all doing that since I can't do it right now. Okay, so let's begin. sing it on Shabbat too because we want to pay attention to how it, how important it is and how how awesome it is for us to be together and usually we're together in the same space but here we're together in the same virtual space so this is Hine Mato so please join me it's very pretty <laughs> Cantor, thank you so much. That was wonderful. What a great way to start Shabbat, boys and girls. Shabbat Shalom, girls and boys. Shabbat Shalom, moms and dads. And Shabbat Shalom, grandmas. It's so great. To, and grandpas, if you're there, it's so great. To, there he is. There's grandpa. 
It's so great to be celebrating Shabbat together. Today is our Jewish day of rest. It's our Jewish day of family. It's our Jewish day of love. And so we're going to sing on Shabbat. We're going to sing. We're going to dance. We're going to share stories together. And oh my goodness, do we have such a great story and such a great storyteller for all of us a little bit later. But let's really bring in Shabbat right now with candles and grape juice and challah. So how about, because I think Avery has never done this before, and we'd like to give our new, one of our new um, uh, uh, students and one of our new children um, to our Shabbat a chance. Carol, are, are you, do you have like a, a, a candles or, um, yes? Oh, she's going to get candles. Okay, great. So Avery's going to do candles with grandma. There they are. Okay. Looks like burgundy candles. Cool. All right. So Avery's going to, when grandma are going to do candles together. Um, let's see. Who has never done kiddish grape juice? Has anybody? Isla looks like he's ready. So Isla, are you ready to do grape juice? Okay. It looks like he's ready to do grape juice. And anybody else who would like to do grape juice with Eiler, that'd be awesome. And how about challah? Does anybody have a challah at home? Abby, Abby, do you have a challah? Yes? All right, yay. So Abby's going to do challah. Yo, you guys are so prepared. Oh, look at that. Pomegranates. Oh, I love it. Great. Well, we have everything that we need. Are you guys ready to sing Shabbat and sing Shalom? Yeah. All right. Your dog's ready. Maple's <laughs> ready. All right. So let's let's sing Shabbat and sing Shalom together. Mm -hmm. We sing Shabbat. We sing Shalom. Right. So the first thing that we do to bring in Shabbat at our table is light the candles. So Avery and Grandma are going to light the Shabbat candles. And if you have Shabbat candles at home, too, if you'll please light your Shabbat candles. And it looks like Abby's going to put in her wonderful Shabbat candles. So no, because fire. we'll do that together. But I need your help. Can, I'm afraid for you to hold my hand while I do it. But there, see, look at me, see, who do I, who's that? All right, so Lahad, we can air shall Shabbat, let's do it together. We sing Shabbat, we sing Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, we sing Shabbat, we sing Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Yay, such wonderful candles and Sabbath candlesticks and candle lighting. And we, it, this is wonderful. So the next thing we're going to do after we light the Sabbath candles is we're going to say the blessing and then drink the yummy, yummy grape juice. So Eiler, if you are ready, it looks like Abby's ready too. Cantor's going to lead us in the blessing. We sing Shabbat, we 
That was great grape juice drinking. Thank you. And last but not least, the challah has been waiting so patiently to have the challah cover removed by Abby. There it is. Look at that beautiful challah cover. Abby's going to be our Shabbat magician, and she's going to remove that challah cover to show us. Bum, ba -da -bum. Ta da! Ah, Look so at that. Beautiful. Oh. That looks delicious. Let's say the blessings for that one. Kala looks delicious, Abby. I love, it looks really tasty. Thank you all for bringing in Shabbat so wonderfully with your candles and your grape juice and the challah. And um, thank you all for being here. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. Can you guys see what's behind me? Do you guys see what's behind my shoulder there? Yeah. Does anybody remember if we were to open that ark right now in our sanctuary? I'm trying to get rid of my, there's my chair's gone. If we were to open that ark, what would we find come tumbling down like snow from the sky? What's going to come tumbling down? Do you guys remember? Who knows? Does somebody want to put it in the chat box? What's going to come tumbling down? Owen knows. Yeah, Owen, you want to unmute and uh, can mom unmute? Can you tell us? Yeah. Yeah. Torahs. Torahs. That's right. Something that looks like this. Oh, so we've got Torahs. So you know what we're going to do in just a second? We're going to sing one of the most precious blessings and prayers from the Torah called the Shema that says that God, the creator of the whole world, that God is one. And then we're going to dance with you guys are going to dance with if you guys could please dance at home and pretend you're holding what i'm holding and um and we will dance with the torah scrolls i really need your help because i can't dance in my chair so if you guys are comfortable standing up after we do the sing the shema and if you guys could dance Cantor and i would love to dance with you as we sing so let's see now jason do you still have, um, for the Shema, we've got a picture of the Shema. Oh, there it is, everybody. Look, it's a awesome. Shema rainbow. So Cantor's going to lead us in the singing of the Shema rainbow. And then we're going to dance. Shema Yisrael. Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Echad Eloheinu, Gadol Adonainu, Kadosh Shemo. All right, Isla's ready to dance. Who else is ready to dance? Let's dance with the Torahs. I also want to point out that the song we're about to do uh, talks about tree of life, the Torah as a tree of life. And we have a holiday coming up at the end of this month that also has to do with trees, with Tu Shvat. So maybe you want to sing that song uh, at the end of the month too. So you can celebrate trees and the Torah at the same time. All right, let's see some great dance moves. Join me.
good singing. That was awesome, everybody. That was so great. Yay. That was wonderful, guys. Thank you. And Larry was doing the drumming in his home and so much great dancing and hand waving. That's the way to do it, guys. Well, I am so excited. I know that we are all so excited right now because we are going to have Jamie Cafel Asha, our Temple Sinai member and Abby's mom and Jewish children's book author extraordinaire is going to share <laughs> one of her latest Jewish books. Yay. Hi, Jamie. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Abby, Shabbat Shalom. So, Jamie, um, do you want to set this up in any way, or do you want Jason to start sharing your new book? It would be great if Jason starts sharing, and I will introduce. There it is. So, this is my brand new book. It is called Hard Hat Cat by Jamie Cafel Alshay. That's me. Illustrated by Maxine Lee, who is an artist who I have never met. But she came up with all the pictures for this book. So you can decide if you think she did a good job yeah, yeah. of figuring out how the pictures yeah. match my words. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, let's go. Meow, meow, meow. Who said that? Look left, look right, then at the construction site. I see workers in hard hats building. I hear sawing. Bang, hammering, er, drilling. And I hear, meow. I look to see if there could be something hiding in a pile of gravel behind a sawhorse under a cement mixer. Then I look high, high up into a tree. I see a kitten. It sees me. It zip zips down, head first, tail last, fast to the ground. Scrabble, scrabble, it crosses the gravel to my house. I bring it water and something to eat, food we keep for cats on the street. Strays, they tiptoe past the falafel stand, the boreca man, and the stand in the shuk that sells pots and pans. Now you see, a boreca is a type of pastry they sell in Israel, and it's usually filled with cheese or meat or sometimes potato. And the shuk yeah. is the market. Yeah, we really like those. Yeah. <laughs> I wish we could adopt them all, but we don't have space, my mom says. And we have a woof. He likes to chase cats. Mom says, Ari, he can't come inside, but he hops up for a ride on my shoulder. He snuggles and tries to curl up into a ball. Here comes woof. Whoosh! Kitten zooms back to the construction site. But the next morning, meow, he looks left, looks right, then he runs to me. This time he lets me comb dust from his fur. Purr. I've got to find him a home. My mom asks, Ari, do you know how many street cats live in Israel? Two million, says Safta. That's my grandma. Too many, says Doda, that's my aunt. I know you want to help, says my mom, but who can take another cat? Still, every morning, kitten meows from his tree, then looks left, looks right, no dogs in sight. Kitten runs to me. He seems neater, sweeter. I ask everywhere I go, doesn't anybody want a clever cat, a forever cat? Everyone says no. Kitten keeps coming back. I pet his nose, tickle his toes, and talk to him. I wish I could do more. Then one day, he's not there. I look down low and high in the air. Even Safta and Doda search their rooms in case he slipped inside, but they find nothing. Shunklum, that means nothing at all in Hebrew. Days pass until, knock, knock, it's a mom and a little girl. I'm Mrs. Pearl, says the mom, and this is Shira. We just moved in. She points to a new house. The girders, beams, and mixers are gone. Instead, there are windows, walls, and a front yard. 
And then I hear meows. There's a cat in front of their new house. He showed up at our door, said Mrs. Pearl. We came to ask, is he yours? I look closer. <laughs> hey, it's kitten. <laughs> I gave him food, I say, but he's a stray. Woof, that's why he can't stay. Yay, shouts Shira and jumps up and down. Yay, I frown. Uh, Sorry for the fuss, says Mrs. Pearl. We're just excited because he's adopted us. I guess he didn't need me, I say. Mrs. Pearl doesn't agree. When you gave him food, you gave him care too. You taught him love as he grew. He became a people cat because of you. Okay. Now every day I get to see the cat they've named Shalom. With a little help, the construction kitten built himself a home. And at the end, I wrote an author's note. That's me, and that's the real hard hat cat in Israel. And I wrote, the kitten in this story is based on a real kitten who found me while I was feeding neighborhood strays in Israel. Like Shalom, the real kitten was living in a tree above a construction site. He meowed to me every morning, then hopped onto my shoulder and begged to come indoors. But a big golden retriever already lived in my house. Israel has two million stray cats, and it is very hard to find anyone willing to adopt one. But when the construction next door to my house was completed, a family moved in and adopted my kitten. Wow, let's hear it. Yeah, let's hear it for Jamie. That was so wonderful. Awesome, Jamie. Awesome, thank you. And Abby, and did I see Daniel's arm? Is Daniel there? Hey, Daniel. He was here a minute ago, yes. He oh, was he was here a minute ago. What a great story and how, a, how what an adorable cat Shalom is in your book and in, you know, in real life. That is so cool. Yes, and Abby met that cat too, that kitten, and it crawled on her shoulder too. Abby, you saw Shalom? You saw, oh my goodness. You know, uh, in Israel? Uh, kind of, sort of? Uh, Not sure. <laughs> Yeah, what a, what a great story you, you, you tell and, and an important story for people to adopt the, the kitties, to adopt the kittens there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, wow. Well, I, 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 I was thinking in preparation for our story, does anybody have a cat at home? Yeah, Samantha and, and Gary and Isla, you've got a cat too? Wow. No, does anybody, I, I used to have a cat. You used to have a cat before you got Maple? Does anybody know the Hebrew? You don't have a cat, Samantha? Okay, I guess I misunderstood. I Gary's got a cat. I have a dog. You have a dog. What's your dog's name? Moxie. That's right. I've met Moxie. Moxie and Maple, the two M's. Well, I have a kitty in my office, and I wanted to share, show everybody. Now, so this is my kitty. Look, she likes to, she likes to hang out in a little coffee cup. And look at the name, by the way, Jamie. Can you see that? It says Shalom. So here's my Shalom and there's Shalom. So my, so my kitty is purple and she's not as cute as Shalom is. Shalom's adorable. I love Shalom, but, but this is pretty, she's pretty cute too. Now, this was like a Jewish beanie baby when they were doing such a thing. And she came with the name and the name that she came with is the Hebrew word for cat. Does anybody know the Hebrew word for cat? Jamie, I'm really impressed with your Hebrew, by the way. Your Hebrew is really going through the roof there. It's awesome. So I bet, Jamie, you pro you probably know. What, Jamie, what's the Hebrew else. name? They can answer first. I'm sorry, who else said? Did somebody else want to answer before I tell you? No? I know it, but go ahead. <laughs> Cantor Alyssa knows. Yeah, any of the kids know? No, the word is chatul. Chatul, and that's what was on the little tag. It said, this is chatul. And chatulim is for all those kitties that we saw in Jamie's book. Those are chatulim. Um, here is chatul, and not as adorable as Shalom, but I love her. She sits up on my shelf, 
And so I think she's going to applaud too. She, she likes the story too. We're going to take her out. See, she's applauding. She's saying, yay, Jamie, what a great story. Thank you for writing a story about us. We love you. My most important fans. <laughs> <laughs> well, and speaking of fans, Jamie, we just want to mention to everybody, Jamie has written how many Jewish children's books now have you written? Uh, quite a few. I think it might be eight. Eight. Wow. That that, uh, wow. Yofi. And as, as you say in one of your books, Kola Kavod, way to go. Eight Jewish children's books. Jamie, where can everybody find Hard Hat Cat and that adorable Cat Shalom and all the other books that you've written? Where can people find them? Thank you. They're easy to find on Amazon. Or if you prefer, you could check out Indie Bound, which will connect you with local independent stores that will stock it. Um, so either of those are easy online. Indiebound.com is a nice thing to check out. Or like I said, Amazon, if you're a Prime member and you want to order and get something right away, that's an easy way. Absolutely. And let's do this. Just if people didn't see your name, Jamie, um, I'm going to try to type it in correctly. And uh, is that, did I miss a hyphen? Is that correct? That's it? Okay, great. Yeah. So, so j just go on Amazon and type in Jamie's name in Hard Hat Cat and her seven other books will come up and you too can have one on your shelves. And hey, maybe Jamie will even sign it when we're able to be, come back in person in the sanctuary. Um, maybe Jamie will sign your book. So um, thank you again, Jamie. This was awesome. Please keep coming and sharing your books, Jamie. We love you. We love, and Abby and Daniel, and we love all your books. So please, please keep sharing. We love it. Well, speaking of sharing and what a blessing that Jamie and Abby and what a blessing you all are, boys and girls and your grandparents and everyone here, what a blessing you all are. We want to do our family blessing as we do on Shabbat. Cantor is going to lead us in our Shabbat family blessing. So we'd like to invite girls and boys, we'd like to invite you to put your heads in the hands of your moms and dads or your grandparents and Cantor will share this blessing and we'll sing together. That was so great to see. Thank you, Cantor, and thank you, everybody, for participating in a Shabbat family blessing. Now, we want to mention we've got some fun stuff coming up. Cantor mentioned about the great Jewish holiday of Tu Bishvat. It's the birthday of the trees. A couple of you mentioned when your birthday is going to be. So let's see. So before three weeks, before the birthdays coming up soon, next Friday, we are going to celebrate the birthday for the trees, Tu Bishvat, and that's going to be Friday at 6.30. So from 6.30 to 8, we're going to have a Tu Bishvat Seder, like the Passover Seder, with trees and nuts. We're going to send out the Seder book. We're going to share with you the you know, fruits and nuts for you to buy or have Instacart bring to your house. And so that's from 6.30 to 8. If you cannot stay the whole time because it's past your bedtime, Stay as long as you can. Stay for 10 minutes. Stay for 20 minutes. However long you can stay, join us. And we're inviting people to sort of have a dinner beforehand so you don't get really hungry if you're going to wait till 8 o'clock to have dinner. So maybe you want to have dinner beforehand. And then during our Tu Bishvat Seder, we're going to mix grape juice into different colors to represent the seasons. And we're going to eat fruits and nuts that grow in Israel where the chatulim that Jamie showed Shalom and the other cats live. So that's um, next Friday at 6.30, starting at 
And we're going to get together again for Kit Shabbat at Home. We can't wait to celebrate Kit Shabbat at Home with you next month. It's always the third Friday of the month at five o'clock. So we'll then see you Friday, February 19th at five o'clock. Yes, Susan, did I do something? Isn't yeah. Two Beach Friday in two weeks? Yeah, I was just going to say, it's in two weeks. Oh, because thank you. Because the month you. of Shabbat started I mean, just yesterday. <laughs> Thank you, Cantor. Yes. Okay, Shvat, the, the month just started, so we got to get to the 15th. We got to, two means 15. That stands for 15. Thank you. I, I, I gained a week. I just gained a week. I love it. Don't do um, that. <laughs> right. So two weeks from today, that is Friday, January 29th, the last Friday of the month. We have five Shabbats this month. Pretty cool. So the last one on the 29th at 630. Thank you, Susan. Thank you. Well, I see that some people are having their own egg and we would like to, I guess we're going to do, Cantor's going to lead us in our clothes. Let's hear it for Cantor. Such beautiful music today. Let's hear it for Cantor and the wonderful music. And again, thank you, Jamie, so much. Thank you and everybody who participated. So we're going to do a closing song. And then if you guys would like to hang out, we can chat a little bit and we'll have our own egg and we can talk more. So glad you are all here and joining us tonight. Uh, so our closing song is Shalom Chaverim. So Shalom Chaverim, well Shalom, as many of you know, it means hello and also goodbye. Uh, it's a fitting song for this. Shalom Chaverim, Lehitra Ot, until we see each other again. So hopefully next month's Kid Shabbat, we'll see each other again. So feel free to join me, Shalom Chaverim. Shalom Khaverim, Shalom Khaverim, Shalom, Shalom, Lehitraot, Lehitraot, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom Khaverim, Shalom Khaverim, Shalom, Shalom, Lehitraot, Lehitraot, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom Khaverim, Shalom Khaverim, Shalom, Shalom, Lehitraot. wish each other a Shabbat Shalom. If you'd like to unmute your uh, your microphones and let's all wish each other Shabbat Shalom and say hi. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Bye. 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 Bye.